Hello, my name is Lucas, this is Bit of It, and I'm here to talk to you about New Voices in Chinese Science Fiction, which was edited by Neil Clark from Clark's World, Regina Kanyu Wong, and Xia Jia. Uh, forgive me if I got any tones wrong. Um, this is a collection, the idea behind it was that they would bring new voices, people who are authors in China who have never been translated into English. Um, and they selected eight beautiful short stories uh, that I would like to briefly introduce to you because I think this collection is fantastic and definitely worth picking up. And it's on discount at the time that I'm recording, which is April 10th or 11th. I forgot what day it is. <laughs> I think it's the 10th. Anyway, my Family and Other Evolving Animals by Shuang Shimu. Again, forgive me if I have any of the tones wrong. Um, this is a, a story about a starship with an ecology all its own and rapidly adapting animals and a character with a strong ambition <laughs> to make their own changes. Uh, the Bridge by Lu Xiao. Uh, has an elderly man whose rare profession becomes impossible due to age and a rapidly changing, developing society. Um, Tombstone, which is one of my favorites, uh, Wang, uh, Yang Wanqing. Very sorry for saying that wrong. Yang Wanqing. Uh, this is, a, as far as I understood, a dystopian world uh, that depends on the death of people uh, and uses their souls to fuel and power this monolith monolithic structure in a, in a mega city. Um, it's good. Uh, PTSD. This one is really cool. This one is really, really out there. And I, I you got to get it just for this. Uh, PTSD by Hui Hu, uh, which it was hard to come up with a one sentence description for this, but uh, <laughs> The future of 3D printing and VR, with VR becoming a little too real. <laughs> uh, by those hands, uh, which I believe their maybe their pen name is Muming, Tsongyun uh, Gu, Tsongyun Muming Gu, um, a bamboo handicraftsman uh, and a young scientist trying to create mechanical AI hands that can create bamboo handicrafts, uh, cross paths. <laughs> um, the Kite of Jinan. This one is also, like, so many of these are amazing. This one is also one of my favorites. Uh, this is written by Liang Qingsan. Um, and it, it's so weird how well it works uh, because it's like a hard science fiction for a soft science in history, if you, if you would call it a science, or maybe, maybe you would think of it as art, I don't know. But a historian makes a breakthrough on a long dead engineer. It's so good. <laughs> uh, they're all so good, but Tombstone and, and um, what was that called? The Kite of Jinan are my, uh, some of my favorites. Uh, Pisho by Shi Heiao. Uh, a man creates new life to help with the extraction of resources during mining, helping him better understand his grandmother. This one is also really fantastic. Uh, but my probably absolute favorite uh, is The Postman by Liao Shubo. Uh, and this is just like loneliness embodied. Okay. Nothing else needs to be said. <laughs> but it's about a cu courier that sends himself as cargo after retirement to respond to a message he's heard throughout his career. <laughs> and if that doesn't get you excited to read it, I don't know what will. Um, I hope you check it out. All of the stories are fantastic. It really is mind-blowing um, just how unique all the stories are um, and how, yeah, maybe how fresh the voices are and, and their perspectives are uh, quite interesting. So please check it out. Thank you. Goodbye.